Hey everybody, it's Jason with Parallel Reality coming back with you here today with an article from Blaze Media. This is dated July 29th of 2023, and I wanted to find an article about this that had some more details than some of the other ones I saw. <coughs> Not cutting that cough out. Uh, just because... Uh, some of the ones I saw didn't really go into some details on here, but this is pretty ridiculous. So this is my home state that we're dealing with here. So uh, the article's headline is, This is Madness. Illinois Governor Pritzker signs bill allowing non-U.S. citizens to become police officers. So my first thought upon seeing that is, are you ready for a country where you have people who are not a part of that country trying to patrol the people who are a part of that country? Something, something seems a bit off here, so let's go into this a little bit, and Pritzker can just go to hell because he's just an idiot anyway. It says, Illinois Governor J.B. Pritzker, a Democrat, signed a bill into law on Friday that would allow non-U.S. citizens to become police officers. Opponents of the bill argue that it would be madness to allow foreign nationals to arrest American citizens. I mean, that's yes, that's basically what I was trying to say <laughs> just a minute ago. Um, so just, just think about that for a second and how absolutely bass backwards that is so this is after passing the illinois house state house and senate prisker signed into law illinois house bill 3751 um and then the bill states let's hit read more it says provides that an individual who is not a citizen but is legally authorized to work in the united states under federal law is authorized to apply for the position of police officer subject to all requirements and limitations other than citizenship to which other applicants are subject now, I have no issue if these folks that come in illegally eventually become legal and then deciding they want to become police officers. I have zero issue with that. But allowing, as it said, foreign nationals to be policing American citizens, something's wrong there. So as according to WTVO, Illinois' move would allow any immigrant with legal authorization to work or who remains in the country under the Deferred Action for Childhood Arrivals, that's the DACA Act, to apply for the position. CBS News Chicago reported last month, federal law states that only U.S. citizens can serve as police officers and deputies. Yeah, see, the other articles that I was reading uh, didn't have this little blurb in there, and I wasn't sure I'd be able to remember to bring it up. So I was like, I want to find an article that specifically says this in here. Um, so basically, Governor Pritzker signed a bill that is unconstitutional and somebody needs to sue his ass to get it off the books. So it says there's been much opposition to the bill. It says Republican Representative Mary Miller of Illinois slammed the new law allowing non-U.S. citizens to become police officers on Saturday. It says at 5 p.m. yesterday when no one was paying attention, Pritzker signed a bill to allow illegal immigrants to become police officers, giving non-citizens the power to arrest citizens in our state, Miller wrote on Twitter. No sane state would allow foreign nationals to arrest their citizens. This is madness, and she is 100% right. Says the Illinois Fraternal Order of Police declared earlier this month, what message does this legislation send when it allows people who do not have legal status to become the enforcers of our laws? This is a potential crisis of confidence in law enforcement at a time when our officers need all the public confidence they can get. In May, Illinois State Senate... Uh, state Senator Chapin, sorry if I'm pronouncing that wrong, Rose, who was a Republican, said it would be a fundamental breach of democracy. Yeah, that'd be, that's another way to put it. it. Says to hand the power to arrest and detain the citizen, a citizen of this state or a citizen of any state of the United States to a non-citizen is a fundamental breach of democracy, Rose proclaimed. Like, that's an actual one, not the every time the Democrats say democracy is in trouble, it turns out to be no, they just don't like the, the what the decision was that was made, you know. So, and then the, his, uh, his or her, I don't even know if that's a lady or a dude says it is antithetical to the police power of any state it's just a fundamentally bad idea here oh it's he he added it says the bill goes into effect on january 1st so hopefully somebody will sue before then to get this off the books because again this is uh against federal law so it says in september 2022 california governor gavin newsom is newsom and, and not newson um who is also a massive moron uh signed to senate bill 960 into law which repealed existing citizenship requirements for peace officers including police corrections and highway patrol officers according to the associate press so he did it too i didn't know that i thought illinois was kind of like uh taking the lead on this one because this is the first i'd seen of anything like this so for folks out there if you live in a blue state i would assume one of the bigger ones like illinois and california and i'd probably guess if it hasn't happened in new york it's probably uh gonna come there soon but in any blue state understand that this is gonna happen and you gotta be comfortable with it and if you don't have a republican attorney general probably nothing's gonna happen but uh something should um 
And then the article finishes and says Pritzker signed 130 bills into law on Friday, including House Bill 2297, which would require state agencies to add non-binary or gender non-conforming categories to their employment reports. You know, okay, so basically people with a mental health problem. Uh, okay, sure. Um, so I don't know why that needed to be added into that. I mean, the 130 bills thing is enough, but I don't know why we needed to add this part. It has no, no bearing on this article whatsoever. But what do you guys think about this? What do you think about states now seemingly deciding that they're going to have non-citizens arrest citizens of their state and or country? So let me know what you think in the comments below. Like, share, subscribe. Talk to you soon.